This week on UWC Online, a huge six-man tag team battle. We'll see the exciting trio of Aaron Matthews and the tag team champions Joey O'Reilly and Tornado Jones take to the air to combat the mongrel team of Alex Castle, the unpredictable Jimmy Carrot, and the UWC champion Blake Reed. Plus, John Stone is still searching all over Indy PopCon for the missing Jason B. We'll see if he has any luck this week on UWC Online. <laughs> the chance to see Mr. Bray in action and the bell rings and the pull of the crowd seems to favor Mr. Bray and Travis Weir proclaiming that he is still the wrestler of the year no matter what everyone says. Well, we'll see. Travis Weir is a heck of a competitor. And we'll see what Mr. Bray is able to do against Travis Weir. As we get things started on UWC Online, we've got some great matches for you. Folks, if you do get the chance, come on out to these Georgetown shows Friday nights. are about ready to get underway and lock up this first match of the evening. There we go. Collar and elbow. And Weir throws his man off. Bray. Taking a little uh, siesta in the corner. Little taunting from Travis Weir. And Bray gets himself back up. Slightly taller of the two. Weir backs him into the corner. And oh, a little slap. A little, uh, keep trying to get in the head of Mr. Bray with a couple of slaps. Oh, Bray comes off with a right hook. Charging and missing. And another right hook, a second and a third. Going to the eyes, pushing off, and then Bray comes back with a kick to the knee. Again pushing off his rear, throws him into the corner, and runs right into the boot. Charge in, nobody home. Bray up with a kick to the back of the head. We're wandering around a little bit in days, trying to go for a spin discus punch, and we're bringing a full beautiful suplex. And that folded him up. That could be it quickly. One, two, no, 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 just a two. Asking the ref for a quicker pin, but he didn't hook a leg. Now he's just going to grind his face into the mat, is Weir. Oh, Weir, when he's on his game and he's concentrating, is one of the toughest wrestlers in the business. And sometimes he gets a little distracted, and I'm wondering how he's going to be able to keep focus without Dickie Wabash at ringside tonight. A little bit of a choke on that second rope. Bray back in. Headbutt. Down goes Bray. We are going to follow that up with him. Oh, right to the back. Hot 
high impact move. Now grabs him by the hair and pulls him back. The referee making sure that he breaks that up. Now he goes to a arm, rolls him over for a pinning combination and does not get it. Just a two. Goes straight to the choke. After an opening salvo by Bray, we haven't seen any offense yet. It's been all weird since. Now Weir lands a couple rights as Bray's going to try to make his, his way to his feet. The crowd getting on Weir. And a punch. Now Weir clubs him back down. Another suplex. And whoa! Gets him up and brings him down. Held him up there for quite a while. Could be all for Bray. Cover one, two, and nope. Bray able to move that shoulder up. While we're certainly putting the pressure on the head of Bray, it's the shoulders he needs down and probably grab a leg in the meantime to keep his down. Now, going to the eyes again. We're now off the ropes. Could be an elbow. There's nobody home. Bray has long since left the pool on that one. And we're not paying any attention. Weir is back up first, though. Bray has taken some punishment. And a cannonball. Oh, a side kick. A jumping knee. And a round kick to the side of the head. We're still standing. Off the ropes comes Bray. And bam. Just planted. And the straps come down for Weir. Tells his man to get up. And just barely moves an idle arm does Bray. Bray had his own momentum used against him. Now Weir, a little impatient, comes after him, picks him up. Oh, what's this? Oh, a running slam. One, two, three. Good night. Wow. That was a devastating slam by Weir. Absolutely drove him. All the momentum of that, plus the weight and the power behind it, and Ray absolutely taken down. And Weir is not done with him quite yet. Oh, a little, little dance above the man. Travis Weir is your winner. We may be seeing a lot more of that slam in the future. We've got a lot more to come here on UWC Online. Stay tuned. Excuse me, guys. Um, I'm in a bit of a conundrum here. I lost my friend. He came in here. He's gone. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to find him, but you've seen him. His name is Jason B. He's about this tall. He's got a thing for cats. Jason! Jason! Jason. Yeah. Jason. <laughs> you've seen him. Yeah, where is he? He's in another castle. Another castle. Another castle. This way. Maybe. Thanks. UWC Online is taking over the world of social media. Connect with all of our fans through the official Facebook page, facebook.com slash UWC Georgetown. Watch all the past and current episodes of UWC Online on our official YouTube page. Get late breaking news and notes when you follow at UWC Georgetown on Twitter. And check out the photographs and still shots from our world-class photographer on our official Instagram page. UWC Online, a truly interactive experience. Well, you know, folks, whenever I'm in a jam and I need to find out the, the answer to a problem, I always turn to Ellen DeGeneres. She seems to have the answer. And we actually have Ellen with us here right now. Ellen, I'm in a jam, man. Dickie! What? What are you doing here? Enjoying the convention? What are you doing here? I'm searching for Jason. He's gone. He took off. I don't know where he is. Mario doesn't know. The buses haven't seen him. I don't know what to do. Are you trying to find Jason V? Yeah. Did you look at the My Little Pony booth? Idiot. Go, go check that. Infinite power. Well, 
ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a uh, three-way, three-man tag, six-man tag, however you want to call it for the ages. In one side, you've got the tag team champions, Tornado Jones and Joey O'Reilly, along with Aaron Matthews. And on the other side, you've got the UWC heavyweight champion, Blake Reed, along with Jimmy Carrot, the powder keg, who could do just about anything at any time, and Alex Castle, who is very tough, I'm very tough to imagine him as part of a tag team at any point in time. He's, he's very much, to his own credit, a self-made man at this point. And remember the issues before between O'Reilly and Jones and Matthews. Hopefully their think that's been settled. As we get to this match, Carrot with a float over after the takedown of Jones, just keeping his head down, smacking him across the face. Jimmy Carrot has been known to do absolutely anything, not even necessarily to win. He'll go in just to injure somebody. Go behind and throws his man down and walks away, does Jimmy Carrot. But on the other side, you've got three definite high flyers, three guys who will probably come off the ceilings if you let them. So the size advantage is definitely on the side of Reed, Carrot, and Castle. Now Tornado Jones gets the kick in the arm ringer. Pulls him straight down. He yanks again. Goes work against that elbow and shoulder. You can see that shoulder almost popping out. Comes back and gets the tag to Aaron Matthews. Matthews coming off the top rope. Down across that elbow and pulls that shoulder out as well. And an arm ringer himself. Puts a little breaker into it. Tags into Joey O'Reilly. O'Reilly who held the tag team title with Matthews not that long ago. Flying out for himself. And now that left arm of Carrot is in some sad shape. Tries to make the tag but gets pulled away. Tag into Tornado Jones. We've got a tornado warning in Georgetown folks. He's going up to the top and down across that elbow. And Carrot is in some serious trouble. He says one more. Okay, tag into Matthews. Matthews going up to the top. Carrot says, help me. Nope, not going to happen. Matthews across that elbow and again. Come back in. Tag into Joey O'Reilly. I tell you, these guys do not let up all the time. And against that elbow again. If Carrot doesn't get out of there soon, that left arm is gonna be useless. And rings it back. Tag for Tornado Jones, here we go again. The crowd asking for one more, and they get one more. And now it's Jones back on Carrot. And tag back into O'Reilly. O'Reilly, gonna take that arm. Land a punch to the short ribs on that left side. And goes to the eyes as Carrot goes back and tags in Castle. Carrot needs to get some rest and get away from the ring for a while. And he's not going to be volunteering to make any tags here anytime soon, I don't think. Castle discussing how he's going to handle Joey O'Reilly. up and Castle with the power advantage backs him into the corner this isn't going to be clean no way right hand to the side of the head headbutt and O'Reilly goes down we've seen O'Reilly take some punishment from larger wrestlers but always come back with some extra fire at the end he and Jones both oh that spinning round kick catching and Carrot is back in he catches the jumping side kick the side of the head all three wrestlers come in. Nope, just two. And Frank Reed says, hey. Blake Reed says, I'm not going for it. And a jumping drop kick off the top rope and a double drop kick. Sends the champion down. And a triple jump off the ropes and all three go down. And that's what you get when you wrestle three high flyers. And three wrestlers who have pretty much worked together before now. 
Reed firing back on Matthews. Everybody's bundled together. Joey O'Reilly off the ropes, off the ropes. Here he comes. Good night. Everybody's down. Castle rolls into the ring. O'Reilly now tags to Jones. Jones comes in. Castle's there by himself against the tag team champions. Whoa, Castle, nice work running the two together. Throws one off the other and look at this. Oh, Castle really handling it to the tag team champions. Almost took him out by themselves. And Matthews came in with a save. And that shows what Castle can do. He, he really can play chess with you in the ring when he wants to. Jimmy Garrett barely making it back to the corner after all the punishment he's taken. And Joey O'Reilly down on the other side. Castle working on Jones in the middle of the ring. Been told by veteran wrestlers against the high flyers, you want to try to keep him grounded as much as possible. Grabs him by the mask and takes him down, grabs the leg, and in comes Carrot. Carrot with a kick to the knee and upper thigh area. Brings Jones back up, lands a right hook. Reversal now. Here it goes into the ropes. Coming off. Catches it. Jones flipped up and over. Jones catches himself. Comes back. Oh, and gets speared on the outside by Castle. What a brilliant move by Castle that time. And Jones may be down and out. He landed on that steel part of the outside ring on the apron. And Jones, we've seen him take a lot of punishment, but that was brutal for a high flyer. He's trying to make his way back in. He's only up at six. He's up barely getting there. Goes the wrong one. Rolls back in just to beat the count. Castle hangs on though. And Garrett rolls him over for a two count. I gotta say. And another two count. Garrett not giving up with the cradle this time and he kicks out. Getting frustrated, runs into the right hand, goes straight down, another one. And Tornado Jones, now landing, but now a reversal into the corner. Here comes Kira, he nails him. And you saw Jones fold like a piece of paper up against that ring corner. Now Kira trying to bring him up, look at this, almost into a dragon suplex, rolling down through and making the tag to Matthews is Jones. Catches him a couple of times. The momentum is all Matthews way and there's that drop kick the best in the Midwest. Takes him down, back up again. Backcracker and a cover. One, two, and in comes Castle. Well, I gotta tell you something, folks. I, as I have done often, ooh, tried to do the super kick. Castle caught him. Oh, and straight down goes Matthews. I was wondering whether, oh, look out, Tornado Jones. What's, there's some work there. Now look out here. Oh, splat. Jones taken down by Castle. Oh, and they kick off the ropes. And here comes the champion, Reed. Matthews tries to go after him. Reed takes him and he gets hit with a kick. The right hand off the ropes again and ah, planted. He may be out cold. Oh, splash. He's not, the, he's not the right man. Referee is not gonna make the tag because he's not the right man in the ring. I have no idea who the right man in the ring is at this point. Jimmy Carrot's gonna make the cover. No, whoa, almost got him. And that delay in who was the right man in the ring probably cost the champion Castle and Carrot. No win. Now Carrick going back in the corner for a little consultation. Matthews still wobbly. A reversal into the ropes. Caught by Carrot. And then Matthews goes up and over. He catches. That just hasn't worked for Carrot yet. Off the top rope. Flying forearm. Carrot is down. Is he down enough? And can Matthews make the tag? 
Both wrestlers down, three. I have to say, I'm absolutely impressed with the, the uh, teamwork of the three high flyers, but also with the maneuvers of Alex Castle this match. Someone who is generally as untrustworthy as he in the ring has been a great tag team opponent partner so far. He's in now with O'Reilly. Misses, goes into the corner. O'Reilly, he hits the drop kick. Tornado Jones comes in. Please make the tag. And he does. Catches him. Now Jones comes in. Boom! Drop kick. Just pins him on that rope. Now O'Reilly lands that kick off the second rope. What's this? Flip. Lands. Could be it. Nope. No cover. And lands that time. Could be a finish. Nope. Rolls him out. Castle staggers back and gets the tag to the champion, Reed. Now all the champions are in the ring. Reed misses. Both tag team champions are all over him. Trying to move the big man. It ain't happening. Throws them both off the ropes and hits him with a giant double clothesline. Throws them away. In comes Matthews. He gets picked up. Whoa! No. Ah! Now Tornado Jones. Look out, Tornado Jones. Oh. Oh, throw it on top of Matthews. Matthews may be out cold. Covered. And Castle. Castle wants the pin. One, two, no, Castle gets pulled off. Now here's what I was thinking. Castle now getting into it with Reed. Now Reed pushes him off and he's gonna go away. Reed's gonna just walk away. That leaves Castle in with the, the three high flyers. Oh, he's being set up bad. Carrot can't help, he's out of it. Triple super kick, down he goes. Backed into a six man tag. And my, unfortunately, I think my fears about that mismatched tag team featuring Blake Reed, Alex Castle, and Jimmy Carrot came to fruition as they could not agree on who was going to get the pin. And it was Alex Castle who took the brunt of a triple super kick. And he's still wobbling around. As the tag team champions and Aaron Matthews are victorious, Castle trying to make his way up to his feet. Back down he goes again. See if we can get that triple kick and a replay. There you see it being set up and nailed it. One, two, three, your winners, the tag team champions, Joey O'Reilly and Tornado Jones and Aaron Matthews. A lot more to come on UWC Online. I've lost all hope. I've looked everywhere, all over this massive place. I can't find him. I don't know where he is. I asked Mario. I asked Pizza. We're starting with all of this. Oh my God! Where did you come from? I've been looking all over this place for you. What have you done? I've been everywhere. I've been everywhere. There's everything here. There's stuff everywhere. There are games. There are there's celebrities. I got put in the master lock. I got I got my toys. I got my shirts. I don't. I don't. Calm down. Calm down. All right? You're shaking. Calm down. We need to get you back to the hotel. We need to get some food in there's here. A, there's a problem. What? Uh, I may have traded your car for this autographed copy of Deadpool. So, but don't worry. Don't worry. What? Don't don't worry. There, there is, Mars Attacks was filmed in the area. There is a spaceship right there. There is a spaceship that is back there. I, I can get it to work. I can get it to work. Corn Pet Beast, Bo Sawyer, 
Plus, the much-anticipated two out of three falls match as Sam Knight looks to settle his dispute once and for all with Cecil Cerveza. All that and more next week on UWC Online. What? Uh, he actually did it. Uh, <laughs> I'm shocked. No. No, no, don't, 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 go, go, no, no, Jason, Jason, come back, Jason, my cell phone can't reach this far, come back!